Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and I will be doing the read for you. Hope you guys are having a good day. And so what's going on here? What's going on with Pisces? I like Othala. Othala is the family. It means the inheritance. That's the actual meaning of Othala. It doesn't necessarily have to be a real um, inheritance, but it could be, you know, the way um, the family does things. And it could also be that you're hanging out with somebody in your family. Yeah. But it's usually, you know, pretty good when it's up in the upright. So, yeah. That's a happy one. <laughs> That's a happy one. What's going on with Pisces? Pertho. Hmm. Well, you know, Pertho means unhappiness. Well, you got a happy rune here and you have an unhappy rune here. Pisces, this unhappiness is, is not very long-lasting. This is kind of fading off. Something's going on here with the family. Oh, Pisces. Anzus. Hmm. You know, maybe some of you guys have been having some difficulties at work, um, <clears throat> uh, but that's about to change. Anzus is also a communication rune. It's, that's what it really means. It's talking about all forms of communication. And if, you, if you've been dealing with anything at work that's been difficult, well, this is good news. And it can also indicate like a raise. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, Pisces, it can be any type of um, it can be any type of uh, communication. You know, generally it's, it's, you can hear the voice. So this could probably be like a phone call. Could be like an email or a letter or something like that. But, you know, especially nowadays. I kind of feel it's a phone call though. Or face to face. <clears throat> So we have uh, Fehu in reverse. Mm. Okay, so now Pisces, Fehu in reverse is talking about, it could be, it could be a few things because it's right here in the advice column. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be advice. It could also be talking about the, the what exactly is going on. And this is what's really something to really very much pay attention to because Fehu in reverse is talking about your health. It's also talking about money coming out, money that's, it, you know, the other day I picked up a thief, you know, and this could be something to do with that. And it could also have to do with the health. I really feel the health as well. So very, you know, take very good care of your health. Some of you guys, you know, maybe, um, you know, you could be unhappy if you get sick. Yeah, I mean, Wang Yu is temporary, but it just sucks being sick. 
So, you know, be careful. Right. And what else is going on with Pisces? Hadjalaz. Hmm. So Hadjalaz is, um, <clears throat> it's something shocking. Something shocking. Something shocking, uh, Pisces. Uh, Yeah, something shocking. You can't, Hadjalez always talks about um, how you could, you know, you can't control what others do. You can only control your own self. This is, you know, um, <clears throat> controlling your emotions. This is something to do with that because it's attached over here to, um, it's attached to the family. Hmm. I think you're dealing with a couple of different family members, Pisces. I don't think that this is just one family member. I think this is something else. Because something, this is, uh, this is something, um, this is something shocking from your family. that could have made you very unhappy. Yeah, and it, I see money, I see money missing. I see money missing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I feel that you could be dealing with a couple of different family members. So this here I have to get more runes out to see, but yeah. <clears throat> you know, it gave away the, the two different family members to me is Fehu because <clears throat> I see money coming out somewhere, but I also uh, just have that gut feeling of, uh, of illness, especially as I see Wongyu there, but this could also be a disappointment in something with the family as well. <clears throat> but not this, because this is in the upright, so, hmm. Interesting. Let's, let's figure this out. Okay, who in reverse again? Well, whoever it is that you're dealing with, Pisces, they're losing a lot of money, okay? And not to mention that, like I said, this is like this is what gave me away of two different family members in two different situations. See, not only is I see uh, there's money missing here, your money, your money missing. I see somebody else over here losing lots of money. And I also see uh, somebody over here could be sick. And if somebody over here is sick, you need to be very careful and, watch, and wash your hands if you have to be around them a lot. So I think it's a couple of different people, let's see. Hmm, blank room, blank room. So it could be any sign, Pisces. It could be any sign. Another thing that I'm noticing too is because, see, um, I don't know, I just gotta get more tarot cards. I gotta get tarot cards. <laughs> Connor. 
or kind of something to do with the family. This blank rune here is something that you don't know. This blank rune is something that you don't know. And that one thing that you don't know could be something, somebody's sick. So, you know, be careful. Could it be also something that you don't know about some sort of money being siphoned from you? Barkana here is, um, uh, it's a positive rune as far as we're concerned, but there's some sort of a delay. And whoever this other person is, it could be somebody in your family. Um, but that's why I'm feeling that this could be a diff couple of different people. This is Sagittarius energy right here. Oh, <clears throat> we have Isa. Okay, so Isa is slow energy. This is ice. This represents something slow. This is something that's been going on with the family for quite some time. But this is some sort of a victory with the family too because Isa is always talking about, uh, it, it's like the Nine of Wands actually. Um, it's like, um, it's telling you to not give up on your dreams and don't give up on on something with your family don't get something is coming to you from your family i don't know what that is but whatever it is it's taking a long time but this is some sort of victory because um uh, isa is always a precursor to victory yeah hmm. interesting let's pull some tarot cards out and see what else Going on with Pisces. Going on with Pisces. The Three of Wands. Broadening your horizons. Broadening our horizons. You know what, Pisces? I'm looking at this right now and I'm thinking. You know, um, <laughs> you know, I think you're, we're going to be broadening our horizons. I think whatever this, this, whatever here has been siphoned, this money, I think, I think it's going to be coming back because I see money being siphoned from somebody over here. Yeah. And we're broadening her, our horizons. So if, if there was something that was lost, you know, you might not even know about it. This is blank. I think you're going to get it. Some of you could be feeling trapped right now. Hmm. Why is Wong Yu there? And by the way, Pisces, this is Wong Yu. Why is one you there? <laughs> King of Cups. That's us. That's our energy, Pisces. The King of Cups. And you know, look at this King of Cups. See, look at him with his family. See? Yeah, this family. This has something to do with the family, and uh, whatever has made this, whatever has made us unhappy, is has something to do with the family. Hmm. 
what's going on with Pisces? <coughs> The higher front, the higher front. Okay, so you know you're unhappy because of some sort of belief about your family, and and the thing about it is, for many of us, this belief is actually very, very much true, very much true, and. Um, it's hurtful. It really hurts. Hmm. What else is going on with Pisces? Well, we got the star card. The star. Look at that, the star. So the star is, um, uh, it's Aquarius energy. Um, and it's a wish fulfillment, Pisces. Yeah, it's a wish fulfillment. And, you know, um, I, I, I'm looking here, you know, at us right here. You can see us. This is us. And, you know, in the book, it, it talks about this card as this being a piece of twisted metal that you're being pulled out of. But, uh, you know, in my eyes, it looks like garbage. <laughs> but anyhow, you're getting a wish fulfillment. And look at the white bird in the sky. This is kind of like, uh, um, it's very, 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 very promising. So, you know, you're going to get some sort of a wish fulfillment. You're getting pulled out of this uh, twisted situation that you're in. Yeah, you're kind of in a twisted situation, you know. You're not happy, you know. It's, it's, it has something to do with the family, you know. You know, you, you can see here with the King of Cups, I mean, you love your family. And, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe somebody, uh, you know, maybe this is a betrayal or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason I said that is because I looked at the bottom of the deck there and I see the, the King of Blades, you know. That's interesting, too. That's a judge, by the way. That could be a judge. Yeah. Hmm. How interesting is that? What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? Why is the star there? Why is the star there? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah. This is good. You're, you're getting a wish fulfillment, Pisces. And this is something... This is like, you know, like I said... Dreams, you know, dreams can come true. Yeah, you're getting some sort of a wish. You are, and, you know, and, and we deserve it. We definitely deserve it. It's been a very long time coming. Look, there's Isa. Huh. How interesting. Bottom of the deck says the Nine of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> a wish fulfillment, just like the star. Yeah. Wish fulfillment. Really, really good reading with the cards there. Um, but just make sure that you're taking care of your health, Pisces. Very, very important. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get to some Kipper cards out here, too. <clears throat> What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? Despair. Despair. Well, there we are. Here we are. Here, Wong Yu. Yeah. 
over something about the family. Yeah. What's going on with Pisces? Sudden wealth, sudden wealth, wow. See, look at this, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Sudden wealth, a wish fulfillment. Yeah, this one you is gonna get flipped right around. I don't know, you may, you, you may still feel sad, really. Even, even though, because I kind of like detected a thief the other day, you know? And so, and I'm thinking, well, you know, Othala here in reverse wouldn't necessarily be a thief. So that's why I'm also thinking about this um, is two different people. One person, one person is, one person could be just sick and the other person could be a, a thief. What's going on with Pisces? Judication. Yeah, didn't, I, I just, at the bottom of the deck, I, I, don't, I don't, I didn't pull the card out, but I showed you guys, the, the, the king of blades, that's a judge, this is a judge, yeah, so, um, yeah, adjudication, we're going to get some sort of sudden uh, wealth here, Pisces. This we're going to get some sort of uh, um, some sort of uh, wish fulfillment. Yeah, and there's a message of concern at the bottom of the deck um, that has to do with somebody going to jail. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And then there's the gift. This could be something to do with an inheritance, Pisces. It definitely could for some of us. Huh. Weird, weird read. Take care of your health. That's the main thing, you know. And this is just a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. But, uh, yeah, that's quite an interesting read. Let's get here into the birthday rings, all right. Um, Pisces, we have... Um, three different uh, runes for our birthday. And the first rune that we have here is um, is Sowilo. And Sowilo is for Pisces born February 19th to February 27th. So if you're born during those dates, this is gonna be your rune. Now, the next rune that we have here, sorry, I'm grabbing these runes over here is is Tiwaz. And Tiwaz is uh, for Pisces um, born February 28th to March 14th. So if you're born during those dates, this is your room, all right? And so we have Barkana. And Barkana is for Pisces uh, born March 15th to March 20th. So if you're born during those dates, that's your rune. All right, you guys. So what's going on here with Pisces? <clears throat> let's grab, let's grab this set. All right, what's going on with Pisces born February 19th? To February 27th. Isa, Isa, mm. Isa. Isa is really a very, very positive rune, Pisces. E there it is. There's going to be some sort of victory or something going on here with with your family. But Isa is victory. It, it may be very slow. Isa means Isa means ice. It's slow, um, but. Uh, it's, it's always a precursor to, to victory. And Isa is just like, well, <clears throat> it's almost like the Nine of Wands. 
And you know, the Nine of Wands talks about to not give up on your dreams and keep moving forward, okay? Slow wins a race. Yeah. Let's get a let's get one of these um a warm runes out. If you're new, you guys, these are uh, called the warm runes. They're from Ireland and Scotland, and they're very very old. Uh, not as old as these runes, but these uh, these particular uh, the warm runes are you know I don't know. Like around when Rome was empire, pre-Roman empire era, yeah, very old. Chinya, Chinya, hmm. Chinya is a good is a good rune, and you can tell it's the holly tree. I already know what this is. You can tell it's a holly tree. It's got the, um, you know, the little things on there. So yeah, Chinya is very good. Uh, hmm. Let's read what it says. Chinya. Yeah. Expertise, analysis, protection, transformation, creativity, and or ability. Yeah. You may be, you may feel like you're being secretly sabotaged or or there's a secret plot against you you may feel a great deal of anger in any in some sort of relationships at work or within yourself if it's at work it's going away this is you know if if you're having problems at work it's going to go away this is really good news for work all right um yeah let me see now it's not the time for revenge okay so, you know, you may be feeling like, because, you know, when you get, when you feel really hurt, somebody might really have really, you know, tried to really hurt you. Now is not time to think about revenge. And it's the same type of uh, energy we had yesterday, um, Pisces. You know, whoever this person is, they're getting it. Yeah, they're getting it. So, <laughs> you know, now's the time to just, um, choose harmony and reason and, uh, you know, consider this an opportunity uh, to use your creativity to solve some sort of situation. All right? Yeah. So that's pretty good. Let's get um, one of these shadow cards out here too. Oh, Pisces, born February 19th to February 27th. Avoidance. Ooh, avoidance. It's key to see need to avoid discomfort, but also to overcome it and thrive. So if you can overcome the avoidance, that's your key. All right? Because you're going to thrive. This is kind of like, um, I guess, in a, in a sense, it's saying to step out of your comfort zone. All right? Yeah, in a sense, that's kind of like what it's saying. That's what it's saying to me. I mean, it could be saying something different to, to you. Um, and that's really important, that, you know, for you too, to you know what what comes to your mind when you see these shadow cards, yeah. But that's what comes to my mind. Sometimes I see them and I don't get it at all, you know. But it means somebody something to someone. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? Or on February nineteenth, February twenty seventh. Life is a gift. Life is a gift. Life is unfolding for you. So seize the day and make the most of every chance to be true to yourself and live life to the fullest. It's time to cut all the noise out. So just cut out all the noise. Wow, what a what a good what a good card. 
I like. All right, here, let's pull one of these witch runes out here. This one on Pisces, born February 19th to February 27th. Crossroads. The crossroads. So the crossroads. Let's see what it says in the book. You know, that flimsy little piece of paper that I got with... Uh, those other ones that didn't really describe it. And this book really does a good job. Let's see what it says here. Hmm. Crossroads. The crossroads rune represents choices, opportunities, and the intersection of paths, symbolizing the need to make decisions and embrace change. Wow. So that's very, very positive. I like that. <laughs> Well, there you have it, Pisces. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna get here into T-Waz now. So let's get right into that. What's going on here with the, <clears throat> the Pisces born February 28th <clears throat> to March 14th. Jera, look at that Jera. I like this. This is so good. This is really, really good, Pisces. <clears throat> yeah, this is some sort of balance. This is balance coming back. Whatever here was siphoned from you or whatever was taken from you or maybe you didn't even know about it. It's coming back to you. Yeah, and this is a major breakthrough that's been a long time coming. This is also indicating balance. This is balance. I like this. It's looking pretty good so far. What do you guys think? Coal, coal. Hmm. Let's see what coal says. Okay, this is the hazel tree Pisces. And coal uh, is talking about enlightenment, knowledge, creative inspiration, dreaming, rituals, competence, and practicality. Wow, very, very good rune, eh? And this rune is with great, is this a warm, I should say, with great wisdom is considered quite lucky. So this is really great luck riding with you here, Paulage, uh, Pisces. <laughs> Yeah, this is really running with you. Um, this knowledge is believed to have directly emerged from nature, and it is believed we can understand this wisdom by using five senses. So what it's saying is, um, you know, being able to use your, uh, your intuition, all right? Naturally, being able to naturally use your intuition and, and guide you through this major transformation that uh, you're about to really undergo. It's gonna be a breakthrough. And you know, we're all going through a transformation, Pisces. We are. It's, transformation is really um, actually an ongoing process that continuously goes on. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a breakthrough though. Yeah, some sort of breakthrough and balance coming. All right, here, let me see. Let's pull one of these out, too. Pull out Pisces. The 
harvest. The harvest. And this is, you know, a very, very positive rune. It's like saying you that, like, um, you know, what you've worked for, you're getting. You know, it's like all your hard work is paying off. It's kind of like, sort of like that. Let's see what it says in the book. I sure am appreciative that I have this book. I really am. The harvest rune represents abundance, prosperity, and the creation of efforts, symbolizing the rewards of hard work and the cycle of growth and harvest. Yeah, so this is abundance. Yeah, got some abundance coming, Pisces. I like that. You know, it's kind of weird. You see, you're talking about abundance, you know, but Fay who hears in reverse. But just remember, remember, this Fay who in reverse is is turning, is turned, is turned on this other person. Whoever this person is, somebody stole from you, or something like that. Man, they're losing a lot of money. They gotta pay up. That's tight. <laughs> All right there, Pisces. Well, there you have it. I'm going to go here into Barkana, and we're going to get into that. So, what's going on here with, <clears throat> with Pisces? Born February. You know what? I'm going to redo this. Whoops. Wait here, Pisces. You know what? When I do these readings, I go in kind of like a, into like a, I can't describe it, but I, I get, I go into like a, it's like I'm in a dream and I forgot to pull these two cards out here for, um, for Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. So I'm gonna pull these, I, I, sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, wow, it's like, you, this is really, you know, when you start do, reading cards and, and doing runes, it just takes you to another level. I can't explain it. Shame and guilt. That's our, that's our um, shadow card here, Pisces, shame and guilt. So, feel them without judgment or self-criticism. Mistakes do not define your worth, okay? So mistakes don't define us by our worth. And let's get one more card, and then I can go into Barcana. Yeah, I space you guys off sometimes, you know, and I don't really mean to do that. It's just kind of like, um, I can't explain it. It's, it's like I'm kind of like, um, I fade off into a, I fade off into a, the twilight. What's going on with Pisces? The door is open. The door is open. Pure intention can open doors in the universe and make impossible possible. Believe deeply in goodness and watch magic happen. Wow. Very good card. Looks like a really good reading for everybody. Major breakthrough, abundance, fruition of, of your hard work. Um, yeah, really good card. All right, so now I'm gonna get in here into Barkana. All right, now it's Barkana's turn. <sighs> All right. So what's going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? Ah, Barkana. Barkana. This is Barkana, Pisces. That's what we just pulled. And we pulled it in reverse. So Barkana in reverse is talking about, um, we're kind of in reverse, is talking about um, 
some sort of delay, all right? It's still very positive. It just means that something's delayed. It could, it could need to be delayed. There's ESA right next to it. This is talking about a delay. See how it's in reverse there? Well, that's what we pulled here. But this is talking, this is next to ESA. So yeah. It could be something that you need to delay. Yeah. All right, let's get let's get one of these. Wow, I just feel a really, you guys, I feel a really strong urge of en uh, energy and it, it kind of like, um, it might, I might kind of, you know, act, be acting weird or something. I, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to go with it here. What's going on here with Pisces? Alim, Alim. Uh, Alim is a very, very positive ruin. I know that, I gotta read it. It's talking about pregnancy, maybe somebody's pregnant. Um, I do know that, because I can see that she's pregnant there. Let's see if I can find it here. Where the heck is he? Or where'd you go, Aline? Aline. Gosh, sorry, Pisces. I'll find it here. I think I better find it. There it is. Yeah, Aline. This is a silver fir pine tree. And wow, what a good read. What a good, what a good rune. The meaning of this particular rune, Pisces, Alim, is joy, excitement, and euphoria, uh, and creation. Um, so yeah, some of you could be pregnant. This is also talking about pregnancy, <clears throat> creation, for sure. You might be at the threshold for something new and exciting, but be patient. Fir tree is known for its height, and gives you a beautiful perspective that can change your opinion easily. A lean will make you rise above your current position and see things more clearly from above. All right? Wow. So, you know, it doesn't mean that you're pregnant either, but maybe somebody that's watching me is, for sure. But, yeah. Just be patient, Pisces. Um, I see Barkana here, this brand new beginning. Um... um it's sitting here next to Isa, but this is telling you to be patient. So maybe, the, like I said, maybe this is something that you need to, um, you know, take your time on. Be patient. Um, yeah, let's get one of these. Gosh, I'm going to forget to pull cards for you guys, too. I got to get with it. <laughs> well, Pisces. Pisces born March. 15th to March 20th. Power struggle. Wow, you could be having a power struggle. This could be something at work too, like I said. But if it is, you're going to come out ahead. Uh, usually power struggles happen at work, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but you know. What's it say here? Desire for recognition the need to assert your authority over others. So, you know, yeah. Maybe some of you guys are the boss. <laughs> yeah, could be. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Take it, take it how it resonates with you for sure. Let's get you one, one of these cards here. Don't hide. Don't hide. Dare to dream big. Remind yourself that everything is possible. Don't hide your talents and abilities, but use them to build your world. Wow. I really like that one. That's a really good one, Pisces. I can't go wrong with that. Oops. Yeah, I think that's one. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? Let me here. Pisces. Wow. 
Oh, you got the rings. These are the rings. Rings usually is like talking about your social, you know, your social rings, social, social circles. Um, yeah, let's see what it's, what it says about it in the book. Yeah, it's called rings. The rings rune represents unit unity, partnership, and the bonds that connect us to others, symbolizing love, commitment, and the underwriting of destinies. Wow. So that's very positive. Pisces, we're going to get some sort of wish fulfillment for sure, and the Wheel of Fortune is turning in our favor, so we can't go wrong with that. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow, and I, hopefully it won't be so much... Um, I can't really explain it, but it's, I guess I should say dreamy because when I do these dream, when I do these readings, it's kind of like I, I'm going into a different. I can't explain it, but anyway, <laughs> there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. Bye for now.